Hi there Great Nights and welcome to another video. Welcome to my channel and if you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back! This is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into math masters. I post videos weekly, so please subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification buttons if you want to know when I post any new videos. It really does help the channel. So, um, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you about how to simplify algebraic expressions, but specifically simplifying um, binomials multiplied by binomials, okay, which is two terms multiplied by two terms. And I'm going to teach you a nice easy method and how to apply this, and then also just a quick refresher of grade 8 multiplication so that you actually have the foundation to be able to answer these questions. Remember to have a look in the description box below for the worksheets that I've added that can help you practice the work that is covered in this video. If you haven't seen it, if it's not there yet, please keep an eye on my YouTube community page and I will share with you when that will be ready. So, without further ado, let's jump into the video, grade nines. Alright, grade nines, so we are looking at binomials multiplied by binomials in this video. Okay, so let's just quickly refresh your memory on the rules for multiplication. So the method that I teach that I've taught in the grade 8 videos is also sign number letter. So remembering whenever we multiply any algebraic terms with each other, then you can use the sign number letter method by saying, okay, if I get 3x multiplied by 9x, what is the sign? It's positive 3 and positive 9. So positive times a positive gives me a positive. And then I move over to the number, which is 3 multiplied by 9, which then is 27. And then I move to the letters, which is x multiplied by x, and that gives me x squared. Okay, so that's just the general rule we will apply when multiplying, sign number letter. And essentially the answer to this question is then 27x to the power of 2. Right, let's look at the next question. Here we've got negative 3x times negative 9x squared. So again, we work sign number letter. So negative times negative is positive. 3 times 9 is 27. And then the letters, which is the x's, x times x to the power of 2 gives me x to the power of 3. And so the answer is 27x to the 3. Okay, let's do two more. 3x times negative 9x squared times 2. Again, I've got positive times negative, which is negative. And then again, that negative times a positive gives me negative. 3 times 9 times 2. Is 54 and then I've got an x and an x squared and that gives me x to the power of 3 and so my final answer negative 54 x to the power of 3 right if I look at this example now again I go negative times positive um, times positive which is then negative and then I've got the numbers which is 2 times 9 times 2 which gives me 36 and then I've got two letters in this two variables in this question. I've got the x's, so I first simplify the x's. I've got 1x there, 2x's there, and 2x's there, so together it gives me 5. And then I've got a 1y, another 1y, and then 2y's there, which gives me y to the 4. So my final answer is negative 36x to the 5, y to the 4. Okay, so that's just a, a refresher on how to do multiplication, and now let's actually look at a binomial multiplied by binomial. So essentially, binomial times a binomial is when I've got two terms times two, when I've got two terms multiplied by two terms. And the way you would identify this type of question is in an exam they will ask you to simplify or to find the simplest expression, okay? Or simplify or write this expression in its simplest form, right? So anything that has to do with simplify, and if you've got two terms that's being multiplied with each other, then the methods in this video is what you would use. Right, so let's start by looking at x plus 1 times x minus 2. So this is two terms, and it's being multiplied by another two terms. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the first term in this bracket and multiply it by the entire second bracket, and then you're going to take a second term in this bracket and multiply it by the entire bracket. So it looks as follows. So I'm going to go this first term times that first term will give me x squared, and then this first term times that second term will give me negative 2x. Okay, so each arrow represents multiplication where we're actually applying sign number letter. Then I've got 1 multiplied by x will then give me positive x, and then 1 multiplied by negative 2 is negative 2. And so 
what I will do with the answer then is I will look for like terms and I'll see that negative 2x plus x is like terms. So negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1 and that will then give me a final answer of x squared minus x minus 2. And I don't further simplify this because there are no other like terms. Okay, so the method that I want you to teach is the for you to understand is this method where I've applied the arrows, okay? And when I multiply what? So let's do another example. Okay, again, I've got two terms being multiplied by each other. I first take the one multiplied by the first term in the second one, and that will give me 2x squared. And then I take that same term and multiply it by the second term in the second bracket, which will then give me negative 4x. So 2x times negative 2 gives me negative 4x. Okay, then if I look at the bottom, I will then go negative 4 times x, which will give me the negative 4x, and then the negative 4 times the negative 2 will give me the positive 8. Okay, and then again, I look for like terms, and in this case, I've got negative 4x and negative 4x, and that would give me, simplify, would give me negative 8x. So my final answer for this example is 2x squared minus 8x plus 8. Okay. Let's do a third example. So in this example, now you will notice that there's a number in front of the binomials. Okay, so the way you would do this question is you will multiply this negative 3 into one of the brackets. Right, so I'll go negative 3 times x and then negative 3 times positive 1. And that would give me negative 3x times negative 3. Okay. And then the x minus 2 is then still this term over here. So all I did from this step to this step was multiply the negative 3 in. Now that I have the negative 3 in the bracket, I then now still have my binomial times a binomial. And so I can apply my binomial rules. So I've got the first one, then gives me negative 3x squared. My second arrow, which will then give me positive 6x. And then I've got my third arrow, which gives me my negative 3x. And then my negative 3 times negative 2 gives me the positive 6. Okay? And then if I go further down, you'll see that the terms in the middle can be further simplified because they like terms. So I've got 6 minus 3, and that will give me 3x. Okay, two more examples. Right, so let's look at this example now. So 2x minus 4 squared. Now, you will know that anything squared means that thing multiplied by itself. So if I say 2 squared, I mean 2 times 2, and the answer is 4. If I say 4 squared, that means 4 times 4, so the answer is 16. So if I say 2x minus 4 squared, then that means I'm saying 2x minus 4 times 2x minus 4. And that will then end up um, being the two binomials being multiplied by each other. And once you have binomials multiplied by each other, you apply the arrow rules. Right, so then we have 4x squared... We've got negative 8x, negative 8x, and positive 16. Okay. And then we further simplify, grouping the simplest terms, and that will give me the like terms, and we've got 4x squared minus 16x plus 16. So essentially, what we're doing is we're making sure that we get to the point where we manipulate the question so that it is a binomial times a binomial. So in this Question 3, I multiplied the 3 into one of the brackets so that it would give me the binomial times the binomial. In this case, I opened the two brackets out because it's a, so that I can make it a binomial times a binomial. And essentially, I haven't changed it because anything squared means you are multiplying it by itself. Last question. So let's say you've got now a number in front and you've got a binomial squared. So in this case, you will first open up the, the squared by saying 2x and then write the 3x plus 1 times the 3x plus 1. And then you will, like I showed you in the previous example, multiply the 2x in. So that will give me 6x squared plus 2x, right? I'm just multiplying this in by saying sign number letter, right? So 2x times 3x is 6x squared. Then 2x times 1 is 2x. And now I've got a binomial and I just apply my binomial rules. And that will end up with 18x to the 3 plus 6x squared plus 6x squared plus 2x. And again, I simplify my like terms, so I end up with 18x to the 3 plus 12x squared plus 2x. Okay, so now we've got some questions for you. So I'm going to give you these five questions, 
And based on what you learned now in this lesson, I want you to try these questions, pause the video, attempt these questions, and then unpause the video so we can mark it and you can actually see if you actually understand this work or not. A few minutes later. Okay, so what are the answers that you should have had for this question? Okay, so the first one, your answer should have been x squared plus 2x minus 15. For the second one, 4x squared plus 6x minus 4. For the third one, 8x to the 3 plus 8x to the squared plus 2x. Then for D, you should have had minus 3x squared plus 3. And then your last answer would have been minus 12x squared plus 90x minus 42. Okay, hopefully you got those answers right. If you didn't, go back to the examples and maybe write down the example questions and then do it without looking at the answers and then see if you can get it. And if you are not, you can really identify along the way where you're actually going wrong and then see if you made the same mistake in these questions over here. Okay, and that concludes our video on binomials multiplied by binomials. And that is the end of that video. Hopefully you found it helpful. I certainly hope you did. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions or any comments, please add it in the description box. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Description box below. Also, you will find, remember, you'll find the worksheet link in the description. Or you can just keep an eye on my community page and you can know when that is available. So you can actually practice what you've learned. So, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Alright, bye guys.